everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. How you all doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. I am, um, it's Sunday for me, so I'm just trying to get some stuff done. I have a new digital in my, um, Etsy shop. This one was inspired by these images. I found these, they're from the 1600s. An artist, um, made these, uh, drawing, um, the tools of the person's trade. So like the barber or the musician used the tools of their trade to make their faces. And so I just found those fascinating. And so I've included, um, you know, what the originals looked like. And I've also done some pages of my own using them. And so um, I'm showing you these ephemera pages first because I wanted you to see these images to get the idea of why I did what I did. But I just thought they were super cool. And so, um, yeah, that's what I did. And I just added other bits and pieces to it. So that's one of the um, ephemera pages. And this one I forgot to do borderless. I would definitely say um, when printing these to do them borderless or shrink to fit or however your printer um, says it so that you don't get edges of stuff cut off. But yeah, so that's the first one. And then this is the next one. And you can see the um, those images again, and then I've added other images. This one. And then these are the, the pages that I made using them. So you can see the image here of the musician, and then I added um, a vintage photograph of a cello player and um, the you know all the musical stuff in the background. This is another kind of colorful one, kind of like my um, Fun at the Beach digital. So, uh, yeah, and this is the joiner is what they were called, but carpenter is kind of how we would think of it now. Yeah, I mean, these were 1600s, so that's a long time ago. <laughs> this is the hatter. So, and I just added images that I found that I thought were, you know, kind of fun to go with it. I love, I love those numbers right there. And then this is the fruitier, um, the, you know, the lady selling fruit. This one was harder for me to see. I mean, I can definitely see it like, you know, that's the nose and stuff, but yeah, that one was a little bit more difficult. And then we have the tailor, which is kind of a crack up. And then this was cool. I found this old building that had, you know, tailor and the bank and all that kind of stuff at the top. And so I added that as a strip down at the bottom. And we have the writer and the florist. You guys can see the look. Okay, sorry if I've been cutting them off weird. Um, and then I did lots of just background pages for fun. Like, you know, this one says journal. It's just got really colorful. And then the tape measure and different things. This one says art, as you can see. Very watercolory again. A uh, little steampunky, you know, things like that make it a little more steampunkish. But just some cool background papers to write on. So same with this one. And the building, that's the building, the strip was along here. I cut it off to get this part all on there. But I liked that building. And some flowers. And these are leaves. Just, just kind of fun backgrounds. And then the music without, you know, anything else with it. Just that watercolory look. And a lot of these are just very abstract. I mean, they're not really anything. They just look kind of cool. And I think they'd be great in collage and whatever. And then there's, of course, tags. This is a 25 page digital download again more tags. I didn't do any pockets with this one. I just felt like you can make your own pockets. I did add more ephemera. There's quite a bit of ephemera. I loved these with the fisherman and then he's like a salesman, you know, a door to door salesman type thing. And the blacksmith. So, yeah. And then we have one of the um, CD envelope covers and the number 10 window envelope cover. So that is that. I also have in my shop some like uh, spooky houses is what I'm calling them. 
laser cut on my Glowforge, like the other houses that I have, but these ones are um, more janky, you know, to make them kind of that, give them that spooky haunted house kind of a look. There's three styles. I think, yeah, that's, that's all three. Yeah. Um, and they come in all different sizes, just like the other houses that I have in my digital. Yeah, that's just the bigger one of that one. Um, and, or not my digital, my um, laser cut houses, the, the regular ones, not the spooky ones. And then I have ghosts, and there's three different styles of ghosts in three different, or not three different sizes, but lots of different sizes, so that there's some big ones and little ones to use in different ways. And I will show you a couple of things that I have made using both things. So I did this tag, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these, but with uh, one of the Tim Holtz people, and Tim Holtz says Undertakers, his kind of Halloween-y stuff. Um, and then like his uh, tissue paper back there. So there's that one, and then here's another one. Just a different style on a guest check. And then I backed it with um, uh, the painter's masking paper in the craft color, and it's sticking out because I just tore it around outside. I got real grungy. I did a challenge for the um, Ugly Art Club and so one of the their thing this week was spilling ink. So this is one of the ones that I did for that and then this is another one that I did for that. This has nothing to do with the, the haunted houses or any of that but this was just a really fun. So you can see my spilled ink right there. This is a Tim Holtz image and then these are uh, Tim Holtz stamps. And that's one of those little um, tags that we did together with the alcohol ink. And I just put a, a piece of fabric that's been stamped with a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, and I uh, decoupaged it onto the, the little tag. And it's staying great. So I was amazed. But anyways, you can kind of see the purple around the edge. But I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of cool. So anyway, that's stuff that I was kind of playing with this weekend to have some samples of you know, what you could do with the ghosts and the haunted houses and all of that. So those, all the business is out of the way now. So now what we're going to do is, like I said, I've been um, doing some stuff. I joined the Ugly Art Club on Facebook, and so I've been making a few things. And then I watched one of Judy, or Judy, Dee Dee Catron. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name wrong, so I'm, I apologize if I am. Um, but anyway, she made using um, index cards and these are the larger size index cards these measure I don't know off the top of my head six by four I think yeah six by four so they're the larger ones and um, I'll try to find her video she's got a whole bunch because she does those five minute um, the five minute challenge thing and this will take me a lot more than five minutes but anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure exactly where that is, so I'll try to find it and see what I can come up with. But anyway, she started by covering the cards with some gesso. I'm just going to kind of put it on there and paint it around. And I think I forgot to get water because I'm good at that. So how y'all doing? Hope you're having a good, good day. Or like I said, I'm just... Um, it's Sunday for us, Sunday afternoon, so I'm just playing, <laughs> playing in my craft room and getting the digi done and all that stuff. And I am working on that uh, fairy one that, um, with the doodles. I just haven't, it's not finished yet, but I am working on that one currently. Uh, I keep bumping my... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm such a mess all the time. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me <laughs> in my total distraction and disasterness. So yeah, that's all I got going on today. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. It's going to be super duper hot, but that's okay because it's not raining. So yay. <laughs> so go, go no rain. I mean, we can use it, but I just get... Like I've said before, kind of tired of the rain after dark day. So I'm excited to have some sunshine. 
And I know y'all in the south are roasting. And I'm sorry. It seems to be a feast or famine anymore with the weather. So it's kind of kind of rough. I think the problem, a lot of it, is that we just like our perfect temperatures, right? I know I do. And we don't get many of those. Okay, so this isn't covering this 100%, and I am using the Liquitex. Ay, 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 I'm just going to make a mess. So I'm going to probably go ahead and do another coat. I'm going to pause the camera. I'll keep painting these, and then I'll come back when they're all dry, because, I mean, you guys don't need to watch that. But anyways, you're taking your index cards, covering them with gesso. Be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So they're mostly dry. They're a little, you know, like... Um, you can tell that the inside part is still wet, but I did have to do two coats on here and you can still see the lines, so <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about the lines. And then I did do the other side as well, just because that will make, um, you know, any ink that you add and all that stick a little bit better. Um, so anyway, Dee Dee used um, masking tape and I don't have any of that up here in my craft room, so I'm going to use um, just some pieces of paper that I got ink on last week when we were making the charms, the little uh, tags, this, all these things. So that's what I'm using, but you can of course use <coughs> masking tape or whatever it is that you would like to stick these together. You could hinge them with um, fabric and that would also work. So yeah, it's just a simple little something and um, I think we've all done things kind of like this before. Hers hers is different than the way I'm going to end up with mine. The base obviously is started the same because that's where I got the idea but uh, how it ends up it's going to be a little different when I use this side. It's got a little more ink on it and we'll use some bits from the new digi. I think I'm just going to do some ephemera for a while. I kind of need a little bit of a uh, break from journals. <laughs> I get like that sometimes. I get a little bit like burnout and I just need to do st some stuff that I feel like doing. Um, not that I don't feel like making journals. I just sometimes get, I just want to make like some ephemera or whatever, you know. I think we all get there at some point. So I'm going to fold these in half. And obviously this would be the advantage maybe with doing masking tape is just to stick the two together, but I kind of like to use paper for my hinges. <clears throat> and you could stick it on with whatever. You could use Mod Podge or um, anything that you like to use. I just am going to go ahead and use glue. Um, I'm going to do one side and then do the other side. wants to slide away. It's uh, real toasty here today. My husband turned our air conditioner way up because he got too hot working outside. It's like, yeah, it's not uh, 60 degrees anymore, that's for sure. But that's good. I'm glad we're getting more summer temperatures. The kids keep wanting to like go swimming and stuff like that, but um, it's just been not warm at all. So it'll be nice now. They can do that. There we go. That's what I wanted. So yeah, these are just fun little booklets. Like I said, I think a lot of people have done a little booklet of some kind, almost like a zine or something, but I think I'm going to add some pockets to it, make it more <clears throat> usable for journals, since that's kind of what we're doing. But it's really just a play, a play day. Well, I should leave a little space in there, huh? Okay. So there's that. And then I, of course, I'm going to do some inking. Because that's what I like. But you do it however you like. If you like the stark white, because it is cool with um, 
we're going to add some old papers to it and stuff. And it does definitely look neat. <clears throat> like that. I forgot to ink those, but that's okay. No rules. Just have fun. That's kind of what the Ugly Art Club, um, from what my understanding, I am not like a founder or whatever. <laughs> Nothing like that. But, um... It's just kind of the idea of creating art every day really is the whole purpose. So that's super fun and I like that. And they're also on Instagram. You can follow them on Instagram. Okay, so let's just add some, maybe I'm just gonna do, there's just water on those corners and edges just to make that oxidize a little bit while we add some <clears throat> little bits and pieces. These are all just old paper pieces I have. If you don't have, um, I like this because it says of interest to women. I just find these old magazines and stuff funny. But um, if you don't have the old stuff, you, there's lots of digitals out there that have um, vintage like papers and uh, tickets and um, ledger, all those kind of things that you can get. Or just use whatever you got. You can use magazine, you can use uh, scrapbook paper. Because there's lots of scrapbook papers too that have that kind of vintage look. If that's what you're wanting, if you're wanting that more clean look, then obviously use whatever you want. Just make it a fun little booklet. And I'm just going around and adding whatever, wherever. <laughs> so, like I want a little more right there. <clears throat> and you could go uh, get it totally grungy. Um, you like <clears throat> Tim Holtz uh, tissue probably add some pieces from the new digi because I'm going to kind of use it I don't think I'll do a whole journal out of that one just um, like I said I'm just kind of taking a little bit of a break but I'll definitely make some different ephemera pieces and whatnot. I might do a mini journal with it. I don't know. I just haven't totally decided. I just finished that other journal and I'm kind of, if I get like super inspired, I'll of course, you'll, you'll see it back. <laughs> Cause that's how I do. Art, I think would be fun on there. Of course, I didn't grab that one. There it is. So the color. <clears throat> so yeah, this kind of thing just kind of helps me get my creativity flowing again when I kind of get stumped or I get in a, um, I don't know, whatever you call that, lose your mojo kind of a thing. Which is a totally normal thing to have happen. <coughs> and don't ever feel you know, bad if you get to where you're struggling a little bit because it's just, I think it's just a natural kind of a cycle. You go through really um, times where you're very productive and other times where you just kind of, I think your brain just needs a break and it will take it whether you want it to or not. So there's no point stressing about it. 
which I know is easier said than done. I, I obviously do stress about stuff like that. So I'm just taking my Stabilo all and I'm going to make marks. And it doesn't matter how they go, or what they look like. <coughs> And it's just water. I love this to little, especially with um, gesso. It just kind of comes out cool. Oh, you know what I should do is put some gesso here and there too. I'll use a tool so I don't get my fingers totally disgusting. She kind of, uh, Dee Dee kind of did this sort of thing too. It just looks good. It helps sort of blend it all down, you know, when you get the edges. <clears throat> and the Stabilo with the gesso is kind of neat. drag some of that because this is a wet you know obviously just is a little bit wet so it's gonna you know, got some stabilo over here okay I don't want to go too far because I'm not done putting down the other pieces yet. I am gonna just spritz that just a little bit <clears throat> and let it sit. Collage I find is really good for my creativity as well. It helps when I get in that stuck mode. my fingers. <laughs> okay. Don't think I want all of them. I think I'll take about three. Just do this kind of thing. <coughs> Envelope addressing. That sounds kind of torturous to me, but it's of interest to women, envelope addressing. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, for a job, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I don't know that I'd call it of interest necessarily. <laughs> Gonna have another quiet day, I think, <laughs> out of me. Sorry, don't have a whole lot going on around here right now. Kids are mostly just working, and <clears throat> I'm working, and dad's working, you know, everybody's working. So <laughs> it's nothing real exciting happening. My friend Michelle is gonna come from out of town, so I am excited about that this week. That will be awesome to see her. Let's see, I'm 
don't know if I want that. I think I want a different one. numbers but I'm failing miserably. I guess I should just use this. So my husband and I watched Skinwalker Ranch and then we watched um, Mystery of Bullfrog Ranch or whatever the however the title goes and then now we are watching Expedition, I think it's called Expedition Bigfoot or something. <laughs> They're just all crazy. It's just, I mean, I have no idea what's true and not true or real and not real. I, you know, at, at this point, almost nothing would shock me, honestly. But, um, anyhow, it's just fascinating. And I mean, like I've said before, it's so much better to watch some of that kind of stuff, even if it's not real, than a lot of the other just disgusting stuff on television so I'll take it it's entertaining if nothing else so that's all that really matters right I mean I've never personally obviously seen Bigfoot or UFOs or any of that not saying other people are wrong when they say they have at all because if you've seen it you've seen it so I just don't know because I haven't seen it so but um, I do find it fascinating especially the Bigfoot thing because I was um liked anthropology and archaeology and uh, I actually have a minor in anthropology and um, you know so Australopithecus or not Australopithecus um, oh my gosh my brain Gigantopithecus was a real you know fossil and so I just am always fascinated by all that so that's been fun watching that. Like I said, have no idea what's real and what isn't there, but and of course, as as everything, I won't know until I see it. So. This is super fun to do. This is my kind of thing. I love, I love doing this kind of stuff. I really need to sharpen this. It's um, kind of a mess. I'm gonna use this again. on there. That doesn't work very good. I'm going to try to sort of do that fake writing, but um, I need this to do that. The problem with sharpening these with sharpeners, and I've tried several different ones, is it just breaks because the the lead part of that is like super soft and so a lot of times I have to use a craft knife I'm not real great at that either so yeah it just keeps breaking it I know there's different ways of doing this that are better than others I actually would prefer to do it this way but hopefully I won't cut my finger This is how my dad used to sharpen his carpentry pencils. I remember him doing that. Woodworking pencils. Those really weird shaped ones that are like flat. See, I feel like no matter what you do, you end up losing more of the 
lead than anything else. Which is kind of a bummer. Shake it off in the garbage can. So I'll just do some like fake writing, which I am not very good at at all. It doesn't look like writing at all. Some people do such a good job, it looks like it could actually be writing, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't like my real writing, so... <laughs> Chances are I'm not going to like this either. Okay, so pockets I think would be fun. Like it would be fun to just use one of, this is one of the postcards. I might have to trim it just a touch. Um, from the Digi. Where's my big, oh, there they are. And I'll have to back it because it's just on a basically copy paper. It's that ivory colored paper I use. Just a little bit more. That's from doing um, jelly printing, just rolling the sprayer on. So we use that. Glue's getting sticky from leaving it open. And I use Scotch Create. I get asked that a lot, and it's the permanent glue stick. That's my favorite. Every, you know, you got to just try and see which ones you like the best, but that's my favorite one. Because everybody has a different favorite. Just got to use the one that works best for you. Yeah, this Expedition Bigfoot, I mean, I can buy the whole, their primates and all that, because like I said, I, I'm totally into that kind of stuff, but um, there's like this whole light thing, the, these light orbs, I don't know, you guys might know if you watched any of those kind of shows, but that's kind of a first for me, hearing about that, I don't know what to think about all that, and that they can cloak or disappear or whatever. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, no other things in this world can do that. I don't know about all that, but who knows? Who knows? Like I said, wouldn't necessarily shock me. Yeah, I think that'll look good right there. I like it. May stitch that. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do any stitching. Mostly just want it to stick there right now. And I have stamps on of the Tim Holtz stamps on just like these random edges of um, book page or you know that you tear off. So I have some of those. So I thought something like that might look good. Somewhere on here. Just to add a little something on the pocket. Might want a little something else under that. Just 
some color might, might be good. It's not sticking at the top, but I guess it is. It just has that look like it's not. Where did I put this? Don't want to get too, too much um, water Let me just, because the digital, the color. Um, will come off. Okay, I think that's good. And I may come back and do like some inking or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Just kind of playing. All right. Now what? Do I want to leave this maybe blank for writing? Maybe this side blank for writing. Okay, now. Um, could just do like a tuck over here. Yes. Other pocket. Do I want that there? That's just a, I don't even know, it's just a design. It's not, um, I just took a piece of it. It's not anything specific. as just a tuck over here, I think. Because then you still could do some writing on there. So I think I'll do that. I like the photograph too, but I feel like it's too much the same, you know, the two pockets and I don't want it like that. So I'll put some glue on here. You know what we could do? Let's use it's one of my favorite, my new favorite thing to do. I think I'll cut it along the back side just because I don't want that side to be um, torn. I'm just going to roughly cut it out here because it's in a big old blobby roll there. Cut the back side, and then I'm just going to kind of tear it a little bit wider than 
And that's how I did that uh, guess check with the ghosts and the house on it. Just so it gives it that torn edge that I like. get a little bit of this on here. off screen, huh? Just getting some of the stability all on there, too. Just grungy it up, right? Yeah. Okay. That's I'll use art glitter glue. So tomorrow I'm going to do a video, well it'll be on the day that you see this video is the day that we'll be making a video with my daughter and her friends that will come out on Tuesday. <laughs> so they wanted to do a video with me. <laughs> so I have no idea, it might be a little crazy but I'm sure it'll be entertaining so definitely don't miss it. I thought about live, but my son's not going to be here and he'd be the one that would be good for managing the live thing. I'm not good with that, trying to read um, comments or, you know, those kind of things and make stuff at the same time. It just doesn't work well. And they all want to make stuff too, so we'll just do a regular video. Let's see how it goes. And if you leave like a puddle and just let it dry or um, dry it with a heat gun or something, it just kind of turns out cool. Because you get the gradient kind of of the blacks and grays and it looks neat. Sorry, I don't know why my stomach's making so much noise today. It's just on its own tirade. Not even hungry, just ate, so apologize if you can hear it. Okay. I think we'll stop there today and then we'll continue on with this probably Thursday. But yeah, I mean, you guys get the idea. We're just gonna keep on trucking and I am gonna take. It's all full of brats because <laughs> I had it setting in my little brad box. Uh, see, this is why I'm a disaster, honestly. I'm going to do this a little bit. Oh, I want a little more gesso, I think, in this area. See how that turned pink there? That's what I don't like about the, using digitals with gesso and stuff. 
I mean, it's fine, and it doesn't matter. It's not hurting anything. I just would prefer it didn't do that, but it does. So, Let's see, it does it down there too. Sometimes you can go back over it, and it will uh, not be as much because obviously now it's kind of sealed against the color. So. Anyhow, that's where we're at, but it'll be a little booklet and we'll put tags in and fold it, you know, like this side and then the other side over and we'll put something fun on the front and, you know, just keep going like we've been doing. So we'll do this again on Thursday. So I will see you guys tomorrow for craziness with the kids. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.